we cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. Residents appear split over what American police force's intentions are, but hard mayoral candidate Kerry Smith says the group is here to help. Two days after American police force members arrive in Hardin in black Mercedes police cars, the Hardin decals are gone. Who is the American police force? That's what I'd like to know. When we approached the group Friday morning, an APF member instructed us he wasn't sure where the group's leader, Captain Michael Hilton, was. Minutes later, Hilton abruptly left the facility. Do you think it's mysterious at all? Um... It probably is to those that don't know what's going on. Carrie Smith is the wife of Two Rivers Authority Executive Director Greg Smith, who was recently placed on administrative leave. No public explanation has been given. Carrie wouldn't comment on her husband's paid leave, but says the truth about APF will be revealed and the public has nothing to fear. We can't panic. You just go with the flow and everything will be fine. But other Hardin residents are concerned about the lack of information so far. I'm concerned about the legitimacy of who they are. There's a lot of secrecy going on, I guess is what I would say. American Police Force says it will meet with the media Saturday morning and answer questions regarding the group's secrecy and discuss its future plans for Hardin. I mean, it's wonderful. It's going to be great. I don't understand who this company is and why they... Where were they two years ago? That's all I have to say. Where were they before the ground broke? The bondholders are yet to approve the contract between Two Rivers Authority and American Police Force. Now, APF is on site right now. They're taking inventory of the jail. They say they'll remain in the area for the next couple weeks to assess the situation. Reporting live in the newsroom, Nick Law, Color Right News. A spokesperson for the security firm that's cut a deal to house prisoners at Hardin Jail says filling the jail is not its main objective. Color Right Sarah Gravely has the details. The jail in Hardin has been empty for about two years, but on September 4th, officials with the Two Rivers Authority Economic Development Agency signed a contract with a private police firm called the American Police Force. The contract will fill the jail. I think it's, it's a great situation. I have found these people to be absolutely wonderful community partners. The company's website states the U.S. government is their biggest client, but an Associated Press search of two comprehensive federal government contractor databases turns up no record of American police force. Several media agencies have also identified inconsistencies with the company. For instance, their website states that they have years of experience, but a company spokesman says the corporation was just formed in February. They also list an address to a building in Washington, D.C., but no one at that address has ever heard of them. Two Rivers officials say that doesn't bother them. At this point, that does not concern me. Uh, I've been in contact with uh, enough members of uh, the APF and uh, their representatives. A spokesman for American Police Force, Captain Michael, who would not give a last name, says they have never had experience housing prisoners in a jail, and that was not their biggest attraction to Harden. We didn't really want to get in prison business. But we were actually interested more in training center. While he can't specify exactly what they will be training for, the company says it investigates everything from missing persons to insurance fraud to cheating spouses. Al Peterson with Two Rivers Authority says they're excited to have a military presence in a town without a police force. APF has already put down what Captain Michael calls a substantial amount of money. They'll be in town next week to start filling about 250 positions, 80 percent of which will be hired locally. We will bring city of Harding back on their feet. Reporting in Billings, Sarah Gravely, Color 8 News. Two Rivers Authority officials will present the information at a city council meeting in Hardin tonight at 730. However, they have already signed a contract and do not need council approval. It appears the leader of the group planning to fill the empty Hardin jail has spent some time behind bars himself. It appears APS leader Michael Hilton has been involved in several fraud cases and has even spent six years in a California prison. Court documents show that Hilton has a $1.1 million worth of outstanding judgments against him. Records indicate Hilton has multiple aliases and has twice declared bankruptcy. 
fraud cases include luring investors into a fake real estate development project, convincing a couple to give him a silver statue worth $100,000, and pocketing construction funds. Hilton landed a six-year prison term in 1993 for a dozen counts of grand theft, among other charges. A California doctor who says he was conned by Hilton says he was stunned to learn he was planning a major, deve- major venture in Montana. I even sleep last night because of the memories that it conjured up. Um, he's the reason I had to go bankrupt. I lost my practice. Um, I, you know, had some mental issues because of this. When he was using other people's money, mainly mine and other people, to, uh, like a Ponzi scheme, I think he... APF spokeswoman Becky Shea called this morning and told us, quote, the public documents all speak for themselves. The media that I've seen so far has done an accurate summation of those documents, end quote. Unanswered questions about a California security company planning to take over the Hardin jail has drawn the attention of Montana lawmakers. Members of the legislature's Law and Justice Committee now say they want to know who's funding American Police Force and where it plans to get prisoners for the jail. Among other things, no one from American Police Force has been uh, willing to reveal who its parent company is. In the meantime, Color Eat Sarah Gravely has a profile of APF's just hired public relations. Uh, director, former Billings Gazette reporter Becky Shea. Years Becky Shea is still settling into her new office at the Hardin Jail. I'm the first full-time employee here. She still needs a map to get around the 114,000 square foot building. This is an indoor recreation area. With 20 years of reporting under her belt, Shea says she's still more comfortable with a pen in her hand. And topping her to-do list is purchasing new reporter's notebooks. There's printer's ink in my blood. On Friday, Shea shocked local media when she handed in her resignation at the Billings Gazette and began working for American Police Force. Less than 24 hours after taking the job, Shea held her first press conference. It was just surreal to stand in front of the people that I've worked with for the last nine years instead of standing shoulder to shoulder with them. She's previously reported on the Hardin Jail and American Police Force's involvement with the jail. I know this project inside and out. The last story she filed was Thursday night after she had already been in negotiations with Captain Michael. Shay's editor says he had no idea she was in talks with the company. So what did it take for her to join the force? I don't want the moon and the stars but I'd like to be able to see him from the patio. Shay's earning $60,000 a year. She received a signing bonus and a brand new company car. She's also getting help making a down payment on a new home. Here I am feeling the best I've ever felt about myself uh, at a great point in my life. She says she vetted the company and was told things that they will not tell the media. I'm absolutely positive that I've made a great career choice. Among Shay's responsibilities is handling questions from the media. It may be a response rather than an answer, but I will always respond to the questions that are asked. Yet when asked who APF's parent company is, Shea says, I just feel that that storyline is spun out. The heart of the story at this point is that we're here to open this facility and let it serve its purpose, which was to spur an economic development in Hardin. Reporting in Hardin, Sarah Gravely, Color 8 News. Shea says APF is seeking local employees and is planning a job fair sometime in October.